we have an interesting algebra math question to solve welcome back to my channel now let's get to work okay now let's call this um equation one this equation two okay now from equation one we can make y the subject of the formula and if we do that we are going to have that y is equal to 10 minus x right from equation one y is equal to 10 minus x so we have we call this equation three all right now let's substitute equation three into equation two okay so substitute three into two so if we do that we will have x bracket now our y is 10 minus x 10 minus x is equal to 10 okay now let's open the bracket to open the bracket we have x times 10 which will give us 10x minus x times x x squared is equal to 10 now if you look closely you notice that we just formed a quadratic equation so let us bring this in all right so taking this in we have 10x minus x squared minus 10 is equal to zero okay if we arrange this very well we are going to have minus x squared plus 10x minus 10 is equal to zero now let's remove this negative sign by multiplying through by minus one okay so multiply through multiply through by minus one okay now we have x squared minus 10x plus 10 is equal to zero now that we have a quadratic equation and by inspection you can see that we cannot solve this using factorization method so rather we are going to solve this using the quadratic equation formula the formula that states that x is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac everything divided by 2a so x is equal to a b a a is equal to quotient of x squared which is 1 b is equal to quotient of x which is minus 10 c is a constant which is 10 now let's substitute this into this place okay so if we do that we have x is equal to minus minus 10 right plus or minus square root of minus 10 squared minus 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 10 divided by 2 multiplied by 1 okay so we have x is equal to minus minus we give us plus so we have um so we have 10 plus or minus the square root of minus 10 squared is 100 minus 4 times 10 is 40 okay now everything divided by 2 times 1 is 2 now if we solve further we have that x is equal to 10 plus or minus square root of now 100 minus 40 will give us 60 divided by 2 now let's um simplify root 60. if this is the first time you are coming across this channel please hit the subscription button and turn on your notification bell 
so that you will be notified anytime we upload a new video. At your convenience, watch, come to our channel. There must be something new to watch by the special grace of God. And then give us a thumbs up if you're actually enjoying this video. If you're a returning viewer, thank you very much. I really, really appreciate you. Now, let's continue. So we have x is equal to 10 divided by 2 plus or minus root 60 divided by 2. But before that, let us simplify root 60. Okay? Now, root 60 is same thing as 60 is same thing as when 2 divides this, we have 13. 2 divides this, we have 15. 3 divides this, we have 5. And 5 divides this, we have 1. So if we should pick a perfect square from here, it's going to be 2 and itself. 2 times 2 to give us 4. So 60 can be expressed as 4 multiplied by 3 times 5, which is 15, right? So we have x is equal to 5, 10 divided by 2 is 5, plus or minus square root of 4 multiplied by 15 divided by 2, okay? x is equal to 5 plus or minus. Now when you have square root of a multiplied by b, okay, is equal to square root of a multiplied by square root of b using the law of sorts. So that means we can solve this as square root of 4 multiplied by square root of 15 divided by 2. So x is equal to 5 plus or minus 2 root 15 divided by 2. All right? So we have x is equal to 5 plus or minus root 15. So it simply means that we have two values of x. Okay? We have two values of x. Permit me to clean the board. All right. Now, like I said, we have two values of x, right? So we can write it here, this side, that x1 is 5 plus root 15. x2 is 5 minus root 15, okay? But remember that we are actually looking also for the value of y. And from equation 3, y is equal to 10 minus x. So for case 1, when x is equal to 5 plus root 15, y is equal to 10 minus x, right? So our y is equal to 10 minus 5 plus root 15. y is equal to 10 minus times 5 is minus 5. Minus times plus root 15 is minus root 15. So y will be 5 minus root 15. Okay? Now, for the second case, we are going to prove that the answer we got is correct. So I would like you to watch to the end and see how we proved that the answer is right. Okay? Now, when x is equal to 5 minus root 15, okay, that is here, then y is 10 minus x. So y is 10 minus 5 minus root 15. Okay? So it means that y is equal to 10 minus times 5 is minus 5. And minus times minus is plus. So we have plus root 15. So if we solve for that, we have 5 plus root 15. So when x is equal to 5 minus root 15, y is equal to 5 plus root 15. Let me write it here. y is equal to 5 plus root 15. Now let us prove that the answer we got is actually correct. So let's use the first equation. The first equation says that x plus y is equal to 10. Now using this or using the first one, let's use the first one. Our x here is 5 plus root 15. 
plus our y here is 5 minus root 15 is equal to 10. Now let's see if this is correct. Remember that 5, let's collect like terms, 5 plus 5, right? Then plus root 15, okay? Minus root 15 is equal to 10. Now you can see that 5 plus 5 will give us 10. Plus root 15 minus root 15 is 0. So you can see that 10 is equal to 10. Now if you also multiply them, you are going to make use of difference of two squares and you are still going to get 10 as your solution. Alright? Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video. Bye!